Hi guys, I thought today I would bring you along and show you the different play activities that Ani and I get up to today. She is almost 10 months old and usually I use these daily bins. Today I'm going to try something different. We're just going to kind of freestyle it and see where we end up. But I thought I would bring you along. I will say that we'll do sensory activities, but I'm not going to record those as I've recorded them. I have recorded them previously. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. We are trying something new today. I made her a green crayon. We're not going to eat it. You color. My guess is there will be lots of attempts to put it in her mouth and that's okay. I don't actually expect her to do much with it, but you know, there's some texture there she's not used to. And this is a skill. It's a little advanced for where she's at, but it doesn't hurt to give her opportunities to try new things. Yeah. Mm, yucky. Oh dear. Can you do it on the paper? Use the red crayon on the paper. Color on the paper. Yeah. There you go. Good job. The weather is nice today, so I thought we would go on a walk. What do you think? After we go for a walk, do you want to get on the swing? I say the swing is your favorite, but you like walks too. Especially when there's lots of birdies to hear. And we just like to point out all the green grass. And you see the trees with the brown bark and a blue sky. What else do we see? You like swinging? Hi. I'm gonna get you boo! I'm gonna get you boo! <gasps> boo! Hi! Yeah! Look at you! He's so big! Ah uh, boo! Ah uh, boo! Ah uh, boo! What do you have? Is that your ball? Is this your new toy that we got today? Yeah. Ready? Throw it to mommy. <gasps> Good job. Throw the ball to mommy. Throw Good job. Oh, are you doing some good gross motor play? <gasps> it's your puppy. Can you say, duh, duh. Doggy? Da da doggy, say biscuit. Come here, biscuit. <gasps> There's your biscuit. Come here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Say nothing gets you to move faster than the doggy. Are you crawling on the floor? Are you crawling on the floor to your dog, Biscuit? Oh, I see you. She sees you. Come get her. And then we have to be gentle, remember? Yeah. That's good crawling. All right. Next activity for the day is some fine motor practice. I know you're so excited. Hang on. All we've got in here is a magnet. A for Ani. A um, wooden bead. A button. A little fuzzy puff ball, another wooden bead, her light up ball, and her shaky egg. Um, this is the first time we've done this activity, so we'll just see how she goes. Oh, is it soft? Yeah. Soft and green. Yeah. A lot of this is just about her exploring different textures, practicing, picking things up. So obviously that's easy to get. That's pretty easy to get. This will be a little harder for her. And she's never played with magnets before. So I made that one easy. That is an A for Ani. A for Ani. Yeah. 
as she gets older, um, we can do more and more activities with sort of muffin tins, like sorting and all that kind of stuff. But today I just thought I would offer her some toys she's familiar with. Let's see what she goes for and what she does. Oh, I know it's so soft. What will you think if I turn this around? I'll give you easy access to some of your other toys. Oh, you found the A for Ani again. Let's put your green one back. Yeah, you're not used to magnets. We have a couple sets, but we haven't gotten them out yet because you've been so little. And you love those puff balls. Those have always been a favorite. Oh, your yellow wooden bead. It matches your bib. Yellow, amarillo. I have a feeling she's about to drop this off of her high chair. She's at an age where she likes doing that. And this will make a loud noise. So I'm going to let it hit the floor. Just so she starts getting used to the fact that when she drops some things, she won't like it. Oh, well, that didn't seem to bother you at all. You don't normally like loud noises. Maybe it was because you had control. What do you think? Should we show them the books that we've read today? Oh, I know you love that book. Let's go to the zoo. My big dinosaur book. My little animal book. Rocket's Mighty Words. Going on a bear hunt. Animal words. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? My first soccer book. Outside Toto El Dia. Little Blue Truck, My Forest Friends, My Safari Friends. So if you've been around for a while, you know I normally do daily toy bins. Today we don't really have a daily toy bin. Obviously we've been playing with toys, but we have spent a good chunk of the day outside because she has been grumpy. Not only does she have an ear infection, she is also getting her top two teeth in. And being outside keeps her calm and happy. So I thought that would be today's theme outside. You like going outside? What well, do you think we go outside and blow some bubbles? <gasps> oh, you haven't seen bubbles in a while because the weather's been yucky. Ready? <gasps> Never mind the long grass in our backyard we know we need to mow but it has been too wet. Fussiness. <laughs> well, if there was any doubt she didn't feel well, the fact that she doesn't currently care about being outside would definitely be a deciding factor, but at least I'm getting cuddles. I know, I know, I know, poor thing. Sick babies. An ear infection affecting her balance has not stopped this chick from perfecting the art of standing. She's trying to start cruising too. Are you rocking out? Oh, and you're watching your Bisky play with her toy? Yeah, what a big girl. I mean, honestly, this kid, careful. She hasn't quite mastered how to transition to sitting. But that wasn't too bad. I think you would have landed heavy, but not too heavy. She's just so prone to crying and fussing that normally I would have let her land on her bottom and then just made sure her head didn't hit, but trying to keep her happy. Do you have your scarf? Normally when I introduce toys that are in a big set like this, I only give her a handful. But today, since she's so prone to fussing, we're going to let her dump them all out and I'll probably regret it. There has been a distraction. Let's see what she does. She's probably going to try to go get her. She is obsessed with Biscuit. Are you going to get her? No? You want to play with the blocks instead? How do you get them out of the box? Hey. Do you know that they're in there? That's a good first question. What? Look, what is down here? <gasps> Blocks. 
We haven't played with these before. Typical baby. The box is more entertaining than the toy. Get it? Get it? Good job. She's clearly getting a little older because when she was little, er, she's still little, she only wanted to knock towers over. And now I think she's trying to grab individual pieces sometimes. She's definitely trying to knock it over sometimes too, but... Oh, did you find a red block? Should we put it on the tower? Can I have it? Can I have it? And we'll put it on the tower right here? What do you think of that? Well, she's pretty much over blocks, but here I am still building. I guess I should go see what she wants to do instead of blocks, other than play with the dog's toy. Excuse me. No, thank you. Here we are having your afternoon snacks a little early. See, I normally give these to you while I'm cooking dinner, but you're acting very hungry. So I thought I would do it early. Will I regret this later? Maybe. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what's wrong? Well, we were just telling the pediatrician yesterday that she doesn't really seem to know what the word no means. And then just now she bit my leg and I said, no biting. And she lost it. So maybe she does. She just doesn't normally care. He didn't like it when I told you no. But we don't bite. That's not nice. Hey, looking at the cute baby. I know. Whew. Well, I'm definitely ready for my wife to be home. It is almost four, so hopefully she gets to leave on time today. Because this one has worn me out. We have skipped from activity to activity almost all day. Sometimes it's just about comfort toys. We've got her taggy blankie and can we see Cal? And Cal. She's currently just shaking them around, which normally she just wants to chew on these. And there we go. <laughs> chew and cuddle. But you're definitely feeling off of your norm, so whatever keeps you happy. Is that your blanket? And your cow? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that is how we play today. She's currently playing again while Mama works on some laundry and Mommy's gonna do dishes. You're gonna sit here and play with your book, your ball with scarves, and your other ball. Hopefully you guys like this video. Have a good one. Bye. Say bye-bye.